NBA Live 2002 was a steamy hot mess. It's a big fat mess. Okay. Live 2002 to me was almost like a copy of Live 2001. I didn't see much of a difference in gameplay or in visuals. NBA Live 2002, uh, controversial in our community. Still had those problems with movement and pace, and it was a bit too arcadey. Dunk and the backboard would shake and like it was rubbery kind of thing. And you know how pe people say, oh, well, it was just a roster update. I think that Live 2002 was gameplay wise almost a roster update one year after 9 11 ea sports nba live series was faced with increasing competition from 2k sports nba shootout nba courtside and nba inside drive ea needed an nba release that would put the adrenal chrome back into the nba live series and separate themselves from the opposition the result was one of the biggest basketball game evolutions to take place and would leave gamers licking their lips. You could tell that Live 2003 was special, you know, immediately when you got on the car. Remember we talked about first impressions. The first impression of Live 2003 is it felt amazing and it felt like a step up. But the big thing, right stick dribbling. And again, you can't, if unless you were there at the time and going from just pressing a button and maybe getting the crossover or spin move you wanted, to be actually be able to perform that move with the right stick movement, the, the actual move that you wanted to make, it, it was revolutionary. At, at the time, it, it was such a big deal for the game, and the fact that it's become the standard control for video games well over a decade later, I, I think speaks volumes to how important it was. Total Freestyle Control made use of the right analog stick by giving the gamer more control over their digital players. It was the first basketball video game that used the right analog stick for on-court movements. On offense, the right analog stick controlled crossovers, spins, and triple threat fakes, while on defense, the right stick controlled stealing, shot contesting, and defensive stance. Live 03 introduced these new controls, while also keeping the classic dribble and defensive commands from last year's 2002 title. This provided both a backup if freestyle failed to catch on, and also a grace period for users to get used to the new controls. Classic style NBA Live users could still use triangle for spin and square for crossover if the right stick movement was too crazy for them. Triple threat in 2003 changed the game. It changed everything about basketball gaming in my opinion. The ability to hold the ball out with one hand and execute a spin move yep. and do jab steps and then do a quick first step and then do a crossover. At the time, it felt like you were playing real basketball. Right stick dribbling, I think, is just been such a huge innovation for basketball games when they brought it in with freestyle in in, um, in live 2003 and it really did you know, they, they called it a revolution and it's it's one of those uh, that's a gimmick that's marketing but it, it really was revolutionary so it's it, it, i really did miss it trying to adjust to 2k but that learning curve of the different approach to controls uh, was a barrier at, at the beginning and i think one of the best things 2k has done is to take some of those ideas from live that were really good ideas the games may not have been great, but the ideas were. And I think that's there's always merit in doing that. Yeah, and borrowing is okay as long as we bring it back, right? Right! Following Live 03's freestyle debut, 2K Sports began experimenting with their own brand of analog stick dribbling. ISO motion in 2K4 and 2K5 consisted of either the left or right analog stick combined with another button to perform dribbling moves. NBA 2K6 was the first to shift ISO motion completely to the left analog stick and introduce the classic shot stick control to the right analog stick. This button layout remained consistent until right stick dribbling returned in NBA 2K13. So NBA Live 2003, boom, right stick dribbling. Good feeling right stick dribbling out of the gate too. And then 10 years it took for 2K to put it in the NBA 2K series. That's wild to me. 10 years of the ISO motion dribbling, um, you know, good for EA Sports, but I, still, I can't believe it took 2K Sports that long, a decade, to implement right stick dribbling. But yeah, it is strange. Do you think it was just because ISO motion was, that was a 2K thing? Like that, that was their identity of their controls and they had the shot stick, which Live didn't. And Live was doing things like the three shoot buttons in 07, which was a flop. If you remember correctly, they made some adjustments from NBA 2K11 and NBA 2K12, uh, they they made the dribbling more robust in NBA 2K12 over 2K11. You could do more with it. So they were still expanding on that ISO motion dribbling quite a bit 
right before they got that right stick dribbling, so from 2K11 to 2K12. Ten years after EA introduced right stick dribbling, 2K finally incorporated it fully into their series. The switch happened just as NBA Live 13 was being cancelled, leaving 2K alone to monopolize the basketball gaming industry. Right stick dribbling has continued to be a feature in the 2K series, along with addictive gambling mechanics, predatory microtransactions, and online cyberbullying. And the fact that 2K, even after 2K overtook Live in sales and critical reception and everything, would eventually adopt those controls, speaks to the fact that what they did with freestyle control in, in Live 2003, just how much of an impact it had. You know, it worked so well for EA Sports and it was such a good thing for control for the user. I had I had a really nice move actually with Paul Pierce uh, using the the freestyle, you know, doing a spin move and then throwing it down uh, in traffic and whatnot. Yeah, I started adjusting really well. I do prefer later 2K titles that have the right to dribbling, but I have found that I can go back and enjoy those games a lot more now that I've really shed Maybe some of those leftover live fanboy feelings from the uh, you know, growing up as an NBA live gamer and, and really getting getting used to that 2K style and the feel. I can enjoy those games a bit more, though I do miss the, the right stick dribbling controls in those old games. I am Andrew in the forum and Andrew NLSC on Twitter or on YouTube at youtube.com slash NBA Live Series Center. You can find me on Twitter at d for 3 g and at d for 3 84 I'm also on YouTube, d for 3 and on the NLSC, d for 3 Yes! I forgot to tell you there's a part two to your gift. Part two? Part two, part two, part two, part... Uh, uh, please don't do that. What's for part two?